Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Chris Curtis versus um, Mark Andre Baralt. Baralt, I'm say Baralt. So Chris Curtis versus Mark Andre Baralt. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence. Um, Mark Andre Baralt. And initially, I was leaning to Chris Curtis here. You know, I feel like he has the ability. Well, it's not like Andre Baralt, like really a wrestle heavy fighter. You know, he has had like maybe one or two fights where he did that. But he's not consistently. I don't think he would have great success trying to wrestle with Chris Curtis like that, at least not early. But yeah, how I see this one, I'm going low confidence, Baralt. But I feel like it's kind of Chris Curtis knock you out or lose a decision. I feel like that's kind of how it is. And that's kind of how it has been with him in the UFC. Either he's going to knock you out or he's going to lose a decision, basically. And it's not like he's got this as a one-round fighter. He has enough cardio, you know, he's well conditioned to be able to go knock you out first, second, third, fourth, fifth. But um, it definitely gets harder, you know, if, if most people, like, if the fight goes on to find that knockout. Unless they just start wearing you down and you just kind of don't can't go on and they kind of stop it. But, like, trying to find that one good shot, unless you've been setting up the whole fight, kind of harder to do. And yeah, it's kind of like Chris Gerdes' knockout or decision. I feel like we're all, you know... As far as the angle for Chris Curtis, I feel like Barat only been stopped, well, knocked out, dropped one time inside his UFC career, and that was by Chidi and Chiguana, who's a very solid striker, and get a one-time affair. It wasn't like he has a consistency of getting dropped and knocked out of anything. He has more consistently of losing to, you know, real good grapplers who have been able to take him down multiple times, or fighters who have been able to match a strike and then maybe get like a takedown to get you know, key moments in the fights to beat him. It hasn't really been so much. He's been losing striking, the straight-up striking matchup. That has not really been his um, career history. That hasn't really been his history. But on his side, Chris Curtis, again, in his loss in the UFC have been really decision loss. Like, Jack and Rance, that was short notice. You know, he's about to lose to the Maivolf and um, Kelvin Gaslam. You know, different ones, but... Yeah, definitely not an easy one because not like if Barral had an iron chin, I was like him like that would probably be an average confident pick if he had an iron chin. But the fact that his chin is not really super solid, I would not say. But I do think the the chin debate or the chin angle is overstated because he only has been dropped one time and he's only been finished one time. And that was in that one single fight against Chidi and Jaguani. and he has also been able to show him ability to um, rebound it from fights and get better. And um, yeah, he's three years younger. I think he's like three inches tall. I think they have the same reach or he has like one inch less. But um, yeah, I feel like Chris Carter's going to be live first round. But I feel like Barrios going to be able to extend it out that first round. Maybe look to this wrestle even though he might not get the takedown. But more so to give Chris, no, keep Chris Curtis busy. And then really take him out of that first round. And then really start just work behind the shots and just you know, fight him with combinations. Stay clean, but with combinations. So Chris Curtis, you know, those one shots that Chris Curtis is a lot of times looking for aren't able to find that mark. And it's really just work, outwork, and grind, outgrind Chris Curtis to a decision victory. And also, this is in Canada, so a close fight, you know, hey, going with the dog here. And in Canada, against the Canadian, I think this could be a fight where they do give it to Brawl, even in a close fight or maybe even a controversial decision against Chris Curtis. So, in this one, I got Mark Andre Baralt via decision.